You took that in terms of uh, putting together some impeachment efforts. They did fail this week. You forced the vote on the House floor. Uh, I want to just outline the two articles, one for associating the presidency with white nationalism, neo-Nazism and hatred, another for inciting hatred and hostility. So a bit later today, I am speaking with Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, as you know, among the overwhelming number of Democrats who voted against it. Do you this morning feel a bit let down by your fellow Democrats? No, I don't. Um, I have not one scintilla of regret. Uh, for edification purposes, the Honorable John Lewis uh, voted with us. Uh, the Honorable Benny Thompson did as well. Uh, when Rosa Parks took that seat on the bus, uh, she didn't do it assuming that she would end uh, segregation in the South at that time. She did it because it was the right thing to do. In fact, it was the righteous thing to do. And sometimes you have to do the right thing. And perhaps it'll become the spark. Uh, we had 58 votes. Uh, that's nearly a third of the Democratic caucus. And it's about 57 more than a good many people thought we would have. When Dr. King went to jail, he didn't think that he would end segregation while he was there in the Birmingham jail, but he did the right thing. You have to stand up to hate and you have to fight it. You can't try to placate hate. Uh, you've got to stand and look it in the eye and let it know that you're there to defend and protect people that would be victims. Let me add this. When the president associates the presidency with the neo-Nazis, with the hate mongers in uh, Charlottesville, he's legitimizing to a certain extent in their minds what they're doing. These people leave and they go back to jobs where they are serving food to persons of color. One can only imagine what they do to the food. Some of them probably have jobs as loan officers. One can only imagine why people don't get loans that they are qualified mm. for uh, because of a neo-Nazi possibly being the person who's taking the application. So what we've got to do is stand up to hate. And to the persons who did not, I have no animus. The persons who didn't vote uh, with us, I have no animus. Uh, this was a first step. It's a process. There will be additional efforts made. I don't falter. I won't give up. I won't give out. I'm going to stay in this fight. I did not come to Congress to placate hate. So when I look at uh, one last question, will you wait to uh, put forth talk of impeachment again until after the Russia investigation concludes, see if there's any evidence of collusion or not? Or as I look at the reasons for your articles of impeachment, they seem to stand independent of Russia. They are entirely independent of Russia. They don't deal with emoluments. They don't deal with obstruction of justice. It's time for us to put the hate agenda on the congressional agenda. It's time for Congress to weigh in. And I would add this as an important point. Um, due process is impeachment. That's why it's in Article 2, Section 4 of the Constitution. This is a due process question. So the president gets his due process. He's being treated fairly. Uh, it would come before the House. It's similar to an indictment, but not the same. Uh, this is a means by which a president can be made um, accountable for his insidious incitement. Uh, causing people to do harm to our country that may be irreparable. It may take us generations to overcome some of the ugliness th that is being accorded. Uh, the, the statistics from the FBI are showing that hate crimes are up. We've had anecdotal evidence. Now we have the empirical evidence. Mm. It's time for some of us to take the stand. Let others come when they can. Uh, Maxine Waters mm. was there. Uh, Benny Thompson was there. Jim Clyburn was there. Uh, Cedric Richmond was there. We have many people. Marsha Fudge was there. People who are determined to fight hate, not placate, not wait, uh, not wait until there's a better time. Uh, when Dr. King yep. wrote his letter from the Birmingham jail, he wrote it because eight prominent members of the clergy were saying this is not the time. Wait until the judicial system can handle it. Let's let the law enforcement officers handle it. This is the business of Congress. We ought to take care of our business. Democratic Congressman Al Green of Texas, thank you, sir, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.